First time that's ever happened to him. Um, now Prather, first of three he needs here. And I think this got to be like a two-twizzler 300 for him <laughs> if he's a twizzler guy. 48-foot sharp pattern, got gets it. the 10. Bowlers on two patterns here this week in Jonesboro. 48-foot shark on the left, 36-foot viper on the right. And Prather, as you mentioned, Dave, needs mm. this big game. And he can leapfrog a bunch of people in front of him in the standings and possibly get himself back in the second position. The way it's going, because none of the guys above him are really killing it at the moment, he can make huge noise here. Prather, he, yeah. He was going to the 700s. Yeah, sub 500 in match play to this point, six and seven. And there was no difference between the first shot and second shot in the 10th with the way the six kicked the 10. That was beautiful. So now Prather going for 300. It'll be the second one of the week. EJ Tackett had one during the first night of qualifying on B squad. Tom Doherty getting out of the way there. And Tom slices and dices. Yeah, Doherty, that's only his third strike of the game. He's looking at maxing at 214. Well, is this good news or not? David Bruner has shown up to video <laughs> Prather's last <laughs> shot, our producer. A little more loft on that ball. Got it. That's a 300 for Chris Prather. Beautifully done, and that should get Prather back up into the top two, and depending on how Norm Duke finishes this game, Prather could be your leader with just two games remaining here in match play. 